Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's keep solving. Uh, keep introducing the my own uh the back theory lecture. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So previously, uh, we talked about definition sigma ring and the construct of the back major. And also, this is very highly abstract uh, major theory follow the routines approach. So uh, although we are saying that uh, we are talking about the back major, but actually we are talking about general major. And uh, I define a so-called measurable set, and uh, I also define a measurable function. Okay, so today uh, is the, the third step, which I want to introduce the integral of the <laughs> measurable function. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me just quickly, uh, yeah, I mean, feel uh, quickly uh, logic. So quickly talking about logic. So logic in the major theory is that uh, uh, you can define a major uh, with some basic property like non-negative, uh, regular, and uh, like the countable additive, and uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, if you have this, then you should, in the, let's say, in the topological space X, and uh, and then you can define, and uh, basically you have a sigma ring, and uh, you have sigma ring, and you have major. So each uh, element in the sigma ring, you can associate with uh, its major. And as, especially for the back major, uh, it should take X to be the finite dimensional uh, Euclidean space and the sigma ring uh, define. So this is the, the hard part that we did in a previous video that if you define the volume on the elementary set, then you can use the symmetry difference and approach to prove that there is some guy which you can find a, uh, you can find a set which you can find a, the, the cube which you use the elementary set to approach. Okay, so this is the all the measurable set. So basically, uh, follow the final two results. Uh, the final uh, results uh, in the previous video, uh, you can define a so-called measurable set. So you can define uh, uh, the first, the, the two things. The first is that uh, this, I use this mu. This is the uh, measurable set. So, or somebody say mu measurable set, uh, uh, we find a measure. And another which is uh, also a measurable set, but the only say it's, me it's a measurable set. So which is you can take a measure and measure will be infinity. Or basically this MOU defined to be the countable, I should say the countable union of set in a finitely mu major. Okay, so this is called finite mu major. Then I can define and uh, given a function f, x from uh, x sigma mu to something a real number. If x is a general topological space, then you can define a so-called what is the measurable function. Basically, it's for every a belongs to real number. And uh, you can consider x, f of x greater than a. If for every a, this guy is measurable, then this is called a measurable function. Okay. Okay, so today uh, I want to define, uh, I want to define this notation. Okay, so this is a common notation that somebody gives you a so-called measurable function and they pick a measure mu and they pick a so-called measurable set. Uh, why is this defined? Okay. I mean, if you're working in a physicist or something that, or something other topic, then you, you may know notice that uh, this uh, notation. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so quickly say, uh, let's say S belongs to R, uh, which is a function. As I define on X, so my X is a topological space and uh, with a sigma ring. If a uh, range of X, range of S is finite. So this means that uh, there's the, 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 there are only finite of possible S results, right? And then we say, so we, and this, in this case, we say that uh, S is a simple, S is a simple function. Okay, so uh, for example, okay, so let's give a definition. Let's say E is a subset of X, then let me define a so-called characteristic function. So K of X means that if X belongs to E is one, if X not belongs to E is zero. So this is called a characteristic function. Okay, so I can also define, okay, so let's, let's try to write a simple function in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, characteristic. Okay, so uh, so range of S is finite. So let's consider, let's say a range of S is just a, this, uh, it's just a C1, C2 up to Cn. 
And I can define EI, which is LX such that FX of X is equal to CI. Okay, so this means that uh, the S of X is CI. So simple, uh, very easy exercise to check is that uh, now you can write S in terms of submission CI, chi EI. Okay, so which tell you that the uh, step function or the simple function It's just a linear combination, linear combination of a characteristic function. Okay, and uh, also a fact which you can uh, easily prove it, very simple. So if S is uh, integrable, so I say that I use a very, not very good notation. So this L mu means that S is an integrable function. Uh, if and only if uh, all these EI are uh, mu measurable for every I. Okay. So basically, the step function, uh, if the subset, I mean, uh, if the set which you define is measurable, then the, this function is measurable. Okay. So, theorem, uh, this theorem is uh, important, but uh, let me just quickly sketch the proof. So let's say uh, you take f is a real. Let's say we take s is a real on x, and uh, there then there then suppose there exists a, a step function. Let's say uh, s n, uh, let's say n from one to infinity approach to f. So this is uh, converges pointwisely. So pointwise, uh, as n goes to infinity. And uh, if uh, f belongs to, I should say, then. Oh, so first is that if f belongs to measurable, I mean, if it, f is a measurable function, then uh, one may one can choose. So basically, one can choose some state function approach to it, such that uh, s n is measurable. S n is measurable function. Okay, and. Uh, but second is that if f is greater than zero, then uh, Sn can be chosen to be monotone. Okay. Uh, basically monotone means that S1, that's equal to S2, that's equal to S3. Okay, so proof is a uh, very, uh, very non unnatural, right? So let me just write down and uh, to let you guys think what's kind of is going on. <laughs> okay, so you can E and I, so each N you can define I, which I, uh, let's say, so N is from one to two to three, keep going, and I from one to two to three, N times two to the N. So uh, this X defined to be I minus one to two to the N, F of X, let's say uh, I greater than two to the N. Okay, now you define fn to be x, which of f of x greater than n. Okay, so now you can define sn to be summation of i minus one to the n, k of e and i, i from one to n times two to the n plus n k f n. Okay, so you can easily, you can check that sn converge to f. Okay, this is very unnatural. Okay, so uh, the intuitive is idea is that, uh, okay, so let's say somebody uh, draw you a function f. And uh, let's say, uh, let's say you, you, you uh, for example, you choose, let's say you choose n equals to maybe one, one, uh, 100 or something, right? So now uh, you, you will have e 100 and the i from e 101 and the e 102. So e 101 is f of x, I mean, greater than uh, zero and one divided by two to 100. Right? So maybe, maybe, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is uh, one divided by two to the 100. And then this is uh, two, two to 100, right? So the, now you will have something which is here. Okay, so this is the EN. And then you times this. So the, you will make this something like this. Right? So you will have this. Very, 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 very simple step, like step function, like this. 
uh, sorry, so you right, so you can very and then once you make it very small, then this step function very very close to your original function, and then this f n is a cutoff, right? So in this case, that I this s n at, at at most n, right? So at, at most n, okay. So easy to see that as this s n is that so equal to f, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, now right. So this is the step function. Okay, so now we are trying, we can try to define an integration. Okay, so now we can try to define, we can try to define this. Okay, so the standard, this is the standard approach, follow the follow the routine, and I think the same as a Sigma textbook. So three step. Okay, so first step, step one, is that when, uh, when F is a simple function. Okay, so uh, this is a standard technique in the mathematics, right? You just define uh, something which is simple. Okay, so that's so the standard setting, right? Suppose you have a measurable space, and then let's say your f s of x, right? So it's simple, so you can write as a characteristic function linear combination, and uh, let's say one from n, and this is x. Now you can define the integral of uh, I use i e x, so be the integral of s on e. Uh, what is uh, the correct definition, right? So you can imagine that this f s of x is something which only only survive when x close to e i, right? So you need to measure how e i intersect with e. So the standard definition, the the intuitive definition will be c i mu e union e i. Okay. Uh, definitely your s of x need to belongs to a measurable function. So that each e i is measurable, so it makes sense to talk about the e, which e should be measurable, and so it makes sense to talk about the two measurables that the intersection become measurable. So we can talk about its definition. Okay, so this is step one. Okay, so this is one hundred percent. Okay, okay. Now step two is to define. Uh, step two is to define what? Step two is to define a non-negative function. So let's say non-negative. Okay, so by the previous fact that uh, uh, by the previous fact that uh, you can find you can find something you can find a step function which approach to approach to this your your f right. Okay, so uh, you can call it f d mu e. That defined to be a soup of i e s for a, for all s which less than f. Okay, so basically you take all the step one and you take all the step function which is less or equal to f and then you take supremum. Okay, so when uh yeah, so this is called the uh, so when mu is to chosen to be the back measure and e is a standard uh the back measurable set, then this is called the uh, integral of uh f respect to okay, so in general you can talk about general. Uh, measure so integral of f respect to measure mu over a set e. Oh, basically, it's your integral, <laughs> your lovely calculus integral. Who cares? Okay, so a uh, very easy exercise is to show that uh, if you choose f to be the step function, so you should get uh, you should get the uh, i e of s. So you can prove that these two are uh, equivalent if you put S to be simple. I mean, the reason is very simple because S cover itself, right? Okay. Okay, step three is a general function. Okay, so for general function, uh, you can write F, which is maybe non-negative or negative, but you can write this uh, two different of, two different non-negative uh, function difference. Uh, this is very elementary, so you should prove by yourself. And then you can define uh, f d mu e if uh, if these two are exist, right? I mean, so if these two are this, my nature will define to be this. Okay, so this is the standard approach. This is the definition. If uh, if both of them are exist and finite, then we're happy. If one is infinity, then just infinity. However, right? So this can be infinity or minus infinity. Okay, now, uh, yeah, so this is the, the definition of the, the back major. 
not the uh, the integration of of in uh, respect to general uh, major. Okay, so let me uh let me just uh say say a thing about the uh, terminology, and uh yeah, let's just say say, say some terminology. Oh, so this terminology is uh, uh okay. So this terminology is not standard. So usually, if I say f is uh, L mu, I say that uh, which is an uh, integral. Okay. So if I choose mu to be m, which is uh, the back measure, then uh, I would just write f belongs to mu. Okay. Okay. The second is that uh, uh, if this okay, so if if, if this guy is plus or minus, okay, so if this guy. Uh, oh, sorry, plus or uh, negative infinity or negative infinity, then uh, then we will say that f is the integral of f. I should say the integral of f is well defined. Uh, but uh, but but it's in the integral of f is well defined. But we will not say that f is integrable. When we say f is integrable start from now means that f is fine uh, integral is fine but uh so i should say the f is integrable integrable on e uh, if only if uh, this is this can be integrable this can be integrated and uh, less than infinity okay so uh start from now uh many I will uh, spell out this definition. And uh, yeah, I'll prove five uh, simple results. Okay, so properties. So properties of the integral. Okay, so this property should look like your calculus. Uh, all of the down of lane are true. Okay, so uh, the first one is that, uh, let's say F is measurable. So F is measurable. And the bounded, so bounded on E, let's say on E. And uh, if uh, your measure of E is less than infinity, then, uh, okay, so band notation. Uh, the, I should say the integral is finite. Okay, so the reason is that uh, is the following. Let's say if A, F of A is less or equal to A, uh, greater or equal to B, uh, sorry, uh, less or equal to B, greater or equal to A, uh, for x belongs to e, and uh, let's say mu of e is finite, right? Then uh, we, we what we have is uh, a mu of e, let's say equal to f d mu e, let's say equal to b mu e. Okay, so proof uh, uh, how to prove this. Uh, it's not uh, a little bit non, uh, it's non, uh, not obvious. Uh, Good question, right? How do we prove this? Okay, so uh, I guess in order to prove this, right? So one once you use this definition, okay. So right, so okay, so now f is greater than a, right? So if you spell out the so a, right? A a can be viewed as a simple function, right? On e, right? So by definition, your f integral of f d mu, which is a suprema, should greater or equal to the integral of a which on mu, on, on e, right? So this is a mu e, right? This is just this. This is almost definition, okay? Because one is a simple function and the one is all flat. So the intersection of everything with e will be e. Okay, so easy proof. Okay, and uh, C, where uh, let's say f d mu, if uh, f is uh, less or equal to g, for all x belongs to e, then you should have uh, your common uh, lovely, lovely uh, inequality. So f d mu integral with respect to e, or less or equal to integral of e g d mu. And uh, yeah, this is also a property. And the proof is also simple, right? So basically, you can, uh, you, you can easily prove that. You can easily see that, uh, see that the least, uh, the integral are uh, linear, right? By definition of suprema. So basically, you can say that you can, you you just need to prove that this guy is greater or equal to zero, right? This is by definition because your f is greater or equal to zero. So the step function which which covered by which 
that's equal to f. The suprema must be greater than zero. So this is also trivial. Okay, and uh, D is also trivial if you times a constant, uh, which become this. Okay, and the reason is you can use a step function because any step function from, if the supreme, if you times C for each step function, the suprema will bypass it. Okay, so the E, which is a little bit tricky. So this is a tricky one. Say that if, if the set has volume zero and the F is measurable, Then, uh, then the what uh, what you should expect is this guy zero. Uh, so this, this just say that if your integral has no volume, then it should be zero. Right. So particular if you integral up along a point which is zero, good. Uh, what? Why? Right, if it's, you can, okay, so I think the proof also start from definition, right? So if you take all of that function, uh, you take, let's say you can prove that whenever it's uh, positive, right? And then uh, you can, if all S is less or equal to F, then uh, you can easily, and then you want to take a Suprema, right? But the problem is that uh, now this IES is all zero because E is zero, E is major zero, right? For any step function, take on the measurable set. So for any step function, which take on major zero set is zero by definition, right? Because let's say S is A, then the integral of S D mu on a set E will be A mu E, which is zero. So you take, so every step function you choose on the positive part are all zeros. So if you take Suprema is all zero. And then for the negative part, take Suprema is all zero. Okay, so this is just zero. So prove just by definition. Uh, yeah, also F. F is say uh, that, uh, let's say if you F is integrable on mu, also finite on E, and where A is a measurable set, and A is a subset of E, then uh, F belongs to mu on A. So basically, let's just say that if S, F is integrable, I mean, well, I mean uh, the integrable of F on E is finite, the integrable of uh, on subset E is finite for a measurable subset. Uh, this is also you can prove by yourself. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, and uh, I think there's uh, something uh, still I want to say. Uh, but it may be a little bit uh, boring. Okay, so let me just prove. Uh, let me just prove uh, another one. Uh, wait, wait, let me just see this. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, boring. Okay, so the problem is that we need to prove something uh, which is non trivial, so it may take, take may long time, but uh, let me just let me just uh label. Okay, so fine, uh, we need to prove some important theory, and uh, this one is uh, the first one is, is uh, okay, so I, I talk next time. <laughs> And uh, this is called uh, and the second one, which is very important, which is called the back uh, monotone convergence. This is very important. The back monotone, very famous on the back monotone convergence theory, which is powerful than the like, uniform convergence, that kind of things. And they uh, also called about factor stema. And use factor stema, one can prove the mo most famous uh, theorem called the back uh, dominate convergent theorem. Okay, so I will spend the uh, next video prove this. And uh, basically, I mean, okay, so let me just write, let me just write down. So for, uh, for this one, I just want to prove this. So this one is the Riemannian integral, which is trivial because you can talk about the intervals, right? I mean, so by definition, by the upper sign and lower sign, and take the deep in inference loop, it's very easy to prove. But in the major theory, this this is a little bit non-trivial if you uh, think a little bit. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I will spend uh, a few videos and prove this. See you guys uh, next videos. Bye-bye.